I've helped thousands of clients create best-selling Amazon KDP books, and I want to share with you the same tips and tricks so you can be successful with KDP too. You do that for me? But here's the twist. If you want to stand out in a market flooded with the same old designs, you need a book that feels completely unique. Today, I'll show you exactly how to create one that doesn't just sell. It becomes unforgettable and continues to earn money for years to come. Let's get started. The tools I'll be starting with today are BookBolt and Kittle, uh, sprinkled with a little bit of ChatGPT. So here I'm going to start here in BookBolt. Look, we know how well coloring books sell, but what type of coloring book are you going to sell? We have done these. We've done the Coco Wayo style. Um, you know, these are everywhere. And some people say it's oversaturated. I think it depends on the quality of the book. So while I don't think that genre is dead, I'm not going to concentrate on that particular coloring book right now. My coloring book that has been selling uh, without me even running ads is my motivational swear words book. Now, a few people reached out with a frustration uh, regarding the swear words. They wanted something more empowering that wasn't cursing. So I can do that. That's not a problem. I think that there's a real space for this. And let me show you here in BookBolt, when I go to their cloud research, I just typed in coloring book. I typed in women because even though the other cursing books were, did not identify women or men, I really think that women tend to buy these as gifts for their friends. It's an empowering thing. It's a very girl boss, support your friends type of gift. I think this is a gift that someone is buying for someone else. Maybe if they're having a bad day or a bad month or a bad year, um, it's a really fun gift to give to your friends. So that's why we're, we're going to not do a huge coloring book, but we're going to make sure it's quality, beautiful, and it's something people are going to want to give as a gift. So as I come through here, this is kind of looking at the same thing. This is a You Are Awesome, very bold and supportive uh, coloring book. Here's a Black Women coloring book, and here's another one. Now, when we look at what's selling, this is what we're going to look at. Yes, you can look at the year. Okay, so this was posted last year. This was two years ago. I, I know people can look at the BSR, the bestseller ranking. I like to look at average monthly sales still, like today. So this one is selling 331 average every month. Um, here's one that's selling, I get 335 every month. So this average sales is what tells me that people are still purchasing this particular book. Believe in yourself. This is really what I'm going to be going with here. This one's selling average three. So they're all selling about an average a little more than 300 each. And so that's what we're going to make today. In Kittle, I have a set template. In this particular template, I have a set of eight and a half by 11 uh, artboards, and they're really easy to make. I only have to make this template once, and then every time I want to start a new project, I just copy that template. So we're really saving time here. So this one, I'm actually going to do 30 images. I just really like the images, and I couldn't pick five not to have. So I'm doing 30. And I'm going to show you how I made each of these. This is all created by AI. As you can see, they're very feminine, but bold and beautiful. Something that would be fun to color. But now we need those words. So I went to ChatGPT and I asked it to give me some empowering quotes for women. And it did it did great. And I specifically said no cursing, but make it motivational. So this is perfect. Some of them are a little bit long, the empowered women, empower women, but that's okay. I don't have to use that one. I asked for it to make about 50. So there are several in here that I can select not to use. I started with this fearless and fabulous one. I want to show you how to manipulate each particular page. Here's just an example of how to duplicate the artboard. You click on it, hold down option, and then drag and then there's your new artboard. You can delete what's already there. And then you have all the artboards that you need. So that's what I did for these. I look at this one. I, first of all, added text by coming over here to text. And I identified, I really liked the style. Something was a little bit sassy and fun. So I went ahead and selected one of these. I added the fearless and fabulous. But let me show you why this particular page is not that fabulous. I don't think the butterfly is really that bold. And for something that says fearless and fabulous, I want it to be fabulous. Um, also, the text isn't really that bold. So I want to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and delete this butterfly. Come over here to the AI tool. I've typed in 
create a high contrast black and white coloring page featuring a beautiful fairy with intricate details. I'm gonna do a beautiful butterfly with intricate details, use bold outlines and clear separation between elements for easy coloring. Great, and click generate image. I did select this particular style and we can select a different one later if we'd like. Okay, I think this one is pretty good. Um, it's definitely bolder than the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. I don't like these little leaves next to it. So let me show you how to fix that. I'm gonna click on it, come up here to eraser, and then I'm just gonna delete it. Clean it up a little bit and done. Now I actually kind of want to add some flowers. I still want a little bit more with this one. Let's do that. I think I like the flowers better. See how this isn't just a one and done. It's okay to kind of work with the image, see what you like, see what's really speaking to you. And now I actually want to change that size so it's not a square. I want to make sure it's a vertical portrait size. So I'm just going to do it again, come down here and change this to vertical. If I stretch that, then I can bring this down here. Let's go ahead and look at the text. We need to really make this stand out. So that's one example of putting a really big bubble around the word um, to really help it stand out, change it a bit. Let's work with another one. Our goal here is going to be to have this stand out in front of those beautiful flowers. So now you see how that does kind of take a little while to manipulate it so that you can see the text and it's big enough that you're gonna to wanna to color, but then it's also gonna leave some of those flowers behind it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, this particular text, copy and paste it onto the next one, and then just change the text. So I don't have to keep going through uh, that process to get the best, uh, to get the best view. You know what? I think this one will be better over here. There, I like it. So I'm gonna keep working with all of these and just have some fun creating some beautiful images. Our next step is to uh, decide about the cover. Now, when I went to Kittle's uh, templates, I typed, first I typed in covers, uh, but it was just too broad. So I typed in women and I got a lot of fun stuff. So I got some examples that I was like, oh, like I might be able to use this one or maybe, there were a couple others I saw. What I ended up using was this one. So I hope that this doesn't offend too many people, but it really says what the book is about uh, without using curse words. So uh, this particular bottom part was already included, but it's a square, but I need it to be eight and a half by 11. So I added coloring book. I'm going to, I changed the color. I'm not crazy about this color, but I had it match the nail. Let's find a different color that just looks better. I decided to do the red. It fits. Um, I don't think it makes it too much red, but I can definitely differentiate that top title with the picture by adding something in the middle here to explain what the book is. Now we need to consider that inside front cover. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this one. That inside front color it cover is going to be black and white. So I want to make this grayscale and download. I want to download load them as JPEGs and optimize quality. Now for these pages, we're going to pretend like I've finished all of them and I just want to show you the process. Come here, download. I'm actually going to download all of them as a one page PDF. PDF. Combine artboards into one file, optimize quality, 
And I don't need to worry about removing backgrounds because none of them have a background. Now in Bookbolt, let me show you um, how I've set up this book. So I know that I want it to be eight and a half by 11. This one does have a bleed because some of those images go all the way to the edge. So you need to think of it like it's bleeding off the edge when it goes to the edge. So you need a bleed. I have 30 images, so I need a blank cover on the back because it's definitely feedback I got was people when, they, when they're coloring don't like that it bleeds through the other side and ruins the other image. So I actually just need 60 images plus the front cover inside front cover and that last back page. So I'm gonna make this 63. Okay, let's go ahead and place our images. Our first inside front cover. Now you right click on the image, use it as a file template. I'm gonna click on the page I want it to go to. I want it to extend all the way to the paper edges, resize to fill the paper and submit. This one's pretty easy, it's just one page. Let's go ahead and now I need nothing on the back page and I'm gonna upload the PDF for the rest of the book. Right click and use folder as page template. Now I need it to go on every other page. So that would be all of the odd pages. I'm gonna come in here and select all of the odd, deselect that first page and that should be it. I do want it to go all the way to the paper edges and resize to fill the whole paper. Again, pretend I have my text on here. I'm gonna keep working on that, but this is what it will look like. It's formatted everything for me. Let's go ahead and work on that front cover. We definitely need to put a white box in the background. So I'm gonna come over here to shapes, rectangle, change the color. I really like the white um, with the red. It's very empowering and bold. It's just what I'm looking for. Now I do like to put images on the back so people can see what they're getting. So this is how you do that. Come here to one of the images that I created, click on it, copy and then paste, make it smaller. And then I generally like to add four. So that's one. I feel like I need um, something to really anchor this. It's just kind of floating out there on this white page. So let's do this. So I'm gonna get another box. I'm gonna keep this one black. And then come in here, align both, all set. And I'm gonna do that three more times. Now let me show you how to upload this to KDP and format everything so that it sells really well. Okay, here in KDP, let's dive through this process. We're gonna be doing a paperback, our book title, Now for our description. I'm gonna have ChatGPT help me out. I own the copyright, no explicit images. Now let's look at our categories. Coloring books for grownups, I love that that's a category now. And here are my keyword phrases. Make sure we assign the ISBN, black and white interior. Let's change the size, eight and a half by 11, bleed. Let's make it glossy. I always accidentally click that button. Upload cover. Yes, I used some AI tools. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, of course, assuming that I've finished the book at this time and I'm uploading it. Okay, that looks good. Ah, oh, I'm gonna add that copyright right there on the second page. I think it's gonna turn out great. Again, sorry it's not completed at this time, but you get the, the idea. I'm going to exit the previewer. Now I'm going to price this at just over $10, maybe $10.99. That way I'll profit about $1.50 on each book, maybe $1.75. And I'll run my promotions. Uh, I'll run ads. I'll also get reviews. And let me know if you have any questions.